one thing that's annoying that I can't stand. Uh, if you ever hear a doctor, it sounds kind of cocky. It sounds pretentious to me when they say, oh, I'm not a doctor. I practice medicine. <laughs> I have my own practice. <laughs> practice? <laughs> practice? Really? You talking about practice? <laughs> Seriously? Like, do you have any idea how disrespectful that sounds? Practice? Look, you can practice on all your other little patients and sick people you want, but you perform open heart surgery on me, it's game time, baby, let's go. I can have to coach you to stay alive? What is this? Lawyers are annoyed too, they said they practice law. Again, I wasn't practicing when I caught the assault and battery charge. I didn't need you to not practice with my freedom. What the hell is wrong with you? Great crowd, no, look, not a lawyer in sight. Hopefully, I won't need none tonight, uh, cause you know the boys is out. I should be good though. I'm good. I'm, I'm downtown Brooklyn now. I'm hungry. This is another episode of Leftover Bits. Speaking of practice, practice. We talking about practice. AI, one of the goats. He probably played in this, in this arena right here. This is the Barclays Center. He wasn't practicing. He was giving his all, cause it was game time. At the WNBA in the building, the sisters. I always wanted one of them Amazon queens. I'm a, I'm a short king myself, self-claimed, but I can handle them. I can take them down, especially Angel Reese. I've seen that video of her with the muscle booty. I take the muscular, tall women down. I don't, I do not discriminate. I'm not a foot nigga, but I wonder how WNBA ladies' feet look because I see NBA When you play sports your whole life, when you've been pivot stepping and shooting three-pointers your whole life, you're not gonna have the best looking feet, but that's fine. We're not looking at that. We got other assets. We, uh, my favorite food is uh, like the gyro from the Habibi truck. We're gonna keep it nice and cheap. I call them Habibi sandwiches. But very busy street. We got the Atlantic City, the mall across the street with Chuck E. Cheese. They got Chuck E. Cheese up in there. That dirty ass rat still doing this thing. He wants solo. I don't know if y'all been to Chuck E. Cheese. Hold on, let me flip the camera. There's a Chuck E. Cheese in that building, and it's like, that's Brooklyn's Chuck E. Cheese. That's the dirtiest rat. That's not, the Brooklyn, the Chuck E. Cheese in Brooklyn, and in the Brooklyn Chuck E. Cheese in New York City is not even the mascot. It's not an animatronic. That is a real grown-ass human rat. That is a 37-year-old rat. Here the f*** is, uh, hold on, look, you can see. Can I zoom in on this? Y'all probably can't see. Look at that. There go Chuck right there looking at us. He about to wink at us knowing we down here talking shit. Dirty ass motherfucker rat out here still doing this thing. You gotta respect it. He's a true entertainer though. Yeah, man, this area is lit, man. This is downtown Brooklyn, right outside the Atlantic Mall terminal. We got Target. They sell guitars, Best Buy. Uh, they do all that. At this intersection here, I seen a Mexican Uber driver get somebody smacked the shit out of him in the car. Poppy, I thought Poppy was dead. I was laying on his back like a turtle, like a dead possum, legs up in the air. I don't know why she started running. It made me run. She probably think I'm chasing her. I'm like, come here, bitch, don't get you. I'm just kidding, I would never do that. He had his legs up, he popped right back up and kept it moving. I know he went home and drank two Coronas. He probably drank two Coronas, went to sleep for at least, no more than six hours and went, went to his other job. Mexicans are amazing. By the way, speaking of, speaking of Mexicans, let's, you, you can't see because it's nighttime outside, but the Barclays is one of the few NBA stadiums that got grass on the roof. It's grass on the ceiling. How they get up there? I need my Habibi sandwich. This is Habibi life. I'm going to swallow it down. No diddy. Oh, uh, my Habibi sandwich with this, my favorite drink right now. Arizona. The Zonas. Did y'all ever have the Chill Zickle? You ever had the Chill Zickle? They definitely, there's no question that they market this shit now hey. because they couldn't even spell it Chill Sickle. It's Chill Zickle. Like Snoop Dogg talking, hey baby, you want to sizzle my sizzle, Chill Zickle? Chill Zickle's my sizzle, sizzles. But I wanted to, this is my favorite drink. I had to stop drinking the Arizonas for a while because it started making my heart hurt, but it got over. It's supposed to taste like one of them American little popsicles, like the red, white, and blue. It tastes dope. I don't even in America like that. I don't even the United States all like that, but I still I drink it's, It tastes like, uh, it tastes like uh, apple pie, freedom, and slavery. Delicious. I finally got my Habibi sandwich, also known as the gyro, swallowed it down with that Arizona, my American juice. Delicious and bootylicious. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe.